Hey Francisco, how you doing man? So I guess I'm going to do a slew of videos tonight before I go to bed. It's almost like 4 a.m. It's 3.45 in the morning. And I've just been going through the lists of people that are subscribed to my videos. I'm just going down and looking and watching videos and subscribing myself. And, uh, no, dude, thank you for responding, you know? This is... It's intense, it's intense, I, and I lost my train of thought because I started thinking about you and what you were feeling, and like I saw you put your head down at one point, and just like really feeling it. Do these video blogs just get better and better? All right, man, I wanna to touch base, say hey. Wow, so we're on stick cam now sometimes. You can just pop in there, and it's like live video feed. That's pretty cool. Not sure if you were in earlier, <coughs> earlier or not. Did you come in? Um, God, I'm tired as hell. All right, dude, I'll talk to you soon. I'm, I'm glad you're posting. And no, your English is is really good. I wouldn't worry about it. The only thing that'll ever make it probably hard for you to communicate is if you're worrying about if the English is good. And I've noticed, like, when I'm talking to my buddy Jose, who who is now learning English, he's like, get it, got it, great. But he's still like, you know, he'll bump up, bump roll words. If you start to worry about the one word that you fucked up, either one of us, we lose our whole train of conversation. But if we just kind of like let the nonsensical word go, the conversation continues to make sense. Like your mind can plug in the holes. It's like looking through a screen. Out into the outdoors it looks like you're seeing everything but you're actually only seeing part of it and your mind's filling in the rest but if you focus on the screen itself all of a sudden you can't see anything beyond it it's interesting how that works isn't it <coughs> alright man keep them coming I'll see you later